In this video, I'll talk about uh, finding the angular speed of a disc after the bullet hits onto its edge. So here, we have a bullet here, and this bullet is fired with a velocity of 450 meter per second. So it is given here, the velocity of the bullet is 450, or it's right here. The mass of the bullet is 5 gram. And then this bullet is just hits at the corner or the edge of the the disc. Once it hits, it is embedded into the the wooden block. So we assume the bullet is now embedded into the the block here. So what happens once the bullet is embedded, then all the linear motion is will now is translated into the rotational motion. So this the the disc starts spinning about its axis of rotation. If it starts rotating about or revolving about its axis of rotation, what is the angular speed? Thus, we have to find it out. So let's write down all the given information. The mass of the bullet, this is the bullet mass. And this is the bullet velocity. And this is the mass of the disc and this is the radius of the disc. So first thing we have to calculate what is the moment of inertia of the of the disc about this axis of rotation. So the moment of inertia of a disc is half mR squared. And you have to memorize these things. You have to keep in mind all the time. This is these are the very standard things for a certain geometry. So half mR squared half the mass is five kilogram the radius is one so if you calculate it will you'll get two and a half so now what we'll do we'll also calculate the moment of inertia of the bullet before it before it hits the the spinning disc it does not have any moment of inertia because it is not rotating at all it was just moving in a straight line just it, uh, just after it, it hits the spinning disc, it starts rotating about the axis of rotation. So it does have now moment of inertia. So we will calculate the moment of inertia of the bullet about the axis of rotation. And we'll assume the, this, the bullet is tiny or, or just like a point mass. So all the masses are about the same distance from the axis of rotation. So it is fairly simple to calculate the moment of inertia. This is the definition or this is how we calculate the moment of inertia. Mass times radius squared. And what is the mass of the bullet? It's a 5 gram. And we have to change the 5 gram to kilogram. So this is the, the mass of the bullet. And the radius is 1 square. So if you calculate, you'll get 0 0.005. And I think I forgot the unit here, which is kilogram and meter square. That's the unit of moment of inertia. Now, you have to be a little careful here to apply the conservation of angular momentum. We have to apply the conservation of angular momentum just before the bullet hits the spinning disc and just after the bullet is embedded into the the spinning disc the angular momentum just before the bullet is embedded and the angular momentum just after the bullet is embedded so at that point we have to apply the the conservation of angular momentum so just before when the bullet is just tested here it just about to rotate and just about a spin so at this point the bullet starts spinning so only the bullet has the only the bullet has the angular momentum so this one is just for the bullet ib and how do you calculate again the angular momentum the formula for angular momentum is i times omega and this is exactly equal to if you recall the linear momentum is mass times velocity so if you need to translate this into into rotational dynamics the linear motion 
this one will be L which is the angular momentum the mass will be the moment of inertia and the V will be the angular speed now so this is how we calculate the or translate the linear motion equation into the rotational motion and this is again the only the angular momentum of the bullet but now once the bullet is embedded both the bullet and the spinning disc starts spinning about the same axis of rotation or about the common axis of rotation so here you have to take the moment of inertia of both disc and the, the bullet and this is the final angular speed or the common angular speed of the bullet and the and the disc together and also remember the v is equal to r times omega so omega will be the velocity divided by the radius let's call r so omega is now v over r and this one is as it is so we have to solve for omega f so how are we going to solve it we have to divide both sides by this number or this term id plus ib so here i'm just dividing both sides by id plus ib here and now all the information is given what is the value of ib 0 0.005 the velocity the linear velocity of the bullet is 400 i think it's 450 i think my bad so i'm just put i think this is 400 so i'm just making a slightly change here this should be 400 okay so this is 400 not 400 50 this is 400 the calculation is done for 400 so so this is 400 and now the moment of inertia of the disc is two and a half we just calculated two and a half and the moment of inertia of the bullet we calculated 0 0.005 so 0 0.5 and the radius of the disc is one so if you do the math what you get is 0.8 radian per second so that means the the disc starts spinning with an angular speed of 0.8 radian per second and from this information you can find it out how many rotation does it make in 10 seconds so this is a part of your assignment so if you are interested calculate now and assuming there's no any friction force how many rotation does it make in 10 seconds so this is it from this video again if you have any questions any comments write down in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you